Uh, hi everyone, uh, welcome to the section 2 of Docker and now we are at the stage where we can build the container, where we can create the container. So what we will do is, uh, this is what we are going to cover in this particular section, Node.js app on Docker, how to build the images, how to create the container out of images, what Docker image really contains. We check that it's a minimal Linux kernel, but what should be the file system? What are the different directories it is having, right? Docker volumes, Docker containers to run the application. The final objective is to run the application, to run the Nginx on Docker container and do the port mapping because there is a host operating system and there is a container running on top of it. So how we can access that uh, Nginx server from host operating system? So that will be done by port mapping host and docker container communication like there is a host operating system and container running how they will talk to each other uh, container need to expose some port which will be mapped to the port exposed by host so host will access the nginx from the host port okay docker run hello world we already talked about what it will do it will check if hello world is locally available otherwise it will start pulling this hello world image from docker hub and then it will run that container docker run so it will it is pulling and then it is running that container so that is the task of docker run command okay let's see inside the image what image actually contains so we are pulling different different images right the docker run hello world what it is doing it is pulling the hello world so any kind of image that will follow the syntax so here the base is the linux kernel either it can be a debian or can be other distribution okay on top of it we are actually installing so redis uh, red, there is a redis container what it will be having some underlying ubuntu distribution on top of there they are you will be installing the the nginx right uh, whatever the library which are required for the nginx to run there like here we are talking about the apache container right so here linux kernel right we are added a emos uh, editor then we are adding the apache container so for every installation or every instruction it is creating the layer writable or readable layer it is creating okay so kernel so if you talk about the the file system it is a boot fs and it is having the c groups name spaces and uh, device mapper so it is a minimal linux kernel on top of that we have a base ubuntu image where we are installing the emos then we are installing the apache so it will create a separate layer or image id will get created on top of it and on top of it you can still install few more things i mean it's extendable you can install other software also so the the only objective is trying to have your container minimal right i wanted to use container for nginx so why you are installing a lot of things just install the minimal stuff i wanted to use for node.js so what i will install i will install nvm and node.js there okay because these are the small small containers where you can maintain a multiple containers having different different things installed there okay so coming to the next uh, if you talk about if you look inside the docker container what it will give you so we did docker run hello world uh, or docker run minus it ubuntu bash so we are actually entering inside a uh, ubuntu container so it will you will see all these file system which you generally see in the the ubuntu etc2 or uh, etc3 file system okay so docker run uh, hello world is actually pulling and running that container docker image ls list of all the images docker container ls it will give you all the list of containers we have docker ps minus a will give you all the up and running containers so docker images ls or you call it as a docker images it will give you all the containers docker ps minus a it will give you all the process running so if you talk about docker run minus it u12 so what i'm trying to do i'm trying to enter into the bash console and here you can see all the files okay it is the look like a minimal linux kernel and it is that okay so an instance of image is called a container this is very important what is a container container we are getting from the image so image is going to stay forever until unless you delete it but container is an instance it can be up and running it can be stopped it can be restarted you can delete the container and you can create the container again from the image so it is like a 
you see there is a class and there is a object of that class so this is actually object or instance of the the docker image you can create it you can stop it you can delete it and again you can do the docker uh, docker image build it will create a new container you can have a many container running on a same image if i'm installing the mysql i can run five different containers with the different names running from that image okay so we talked about the flow in the last section that there is a docker file either docker file or either you are doing a docker pull to get the image so docker file you will build it you will get the image you run it you will get the container this is the complete flow of docker there is a docker file you build it you will get the image you run that image you will get the container okay so if you talk about docker hub just uh, google it out and go to the docker hub you will see all the list of images out there uh, i will show that in the next video uh, docker hub you just need either you can log in and you can pull the images or docker hub is actually listing all the official images like in chinex red is uh, mongo uh, busybox alpine so these all official images are there so these images you can directly pull or you can create your own uh, image by first getting the base ubuntu image and in start installing your application okay so in the next video we will try to talk more about docker architecture and uh, the containerization in the docker